Hey, Beach Hunter here. Um, listen, I want to talk to you about something that's been in the news recently. It's a, a bacteria called Vibrio. And I've seen it, I've seen v news videos and news stories talking about a flesh eating bacteria that people are getting infected with in the waters here in Florida. And I just wanted to kind of um, throw some information out there to you that that you need to think about and not just freak out when you hear this story. I know a lot of people are are asking, is this for real? Is this actually happening? Um, and so so here's some of what you need to understand. First of all, this is not a Florida phenomenon. Okay, this is Vibrio is a bacteria which lives uh, in warm saltwater envir environments, particularly brackish water. And brackish water is where fresh water and salt water meet. And it, it's Vibrio happens all over the world, um, all over the United States, and so it's not just a Florida thing. So, you know, I hear people saying, well, we're not coming to Florida anymore. Well, you know, any beach you go to or any saltwater environment has the potential um, to, to harbor Vibrio. And Vibrio is a bacteria that is not it's not a pollution oriented thing. It's, it's not like the water is contaminated. It's something that that naturally lives in uh, in warm brackish water. The second thing you need to know about uh, Vibrio is that if you have a normally functioning immune system, if you're a healthy person, you're not really considered at risk for a Vibrio infection. Now how do you contract Vibrio? Well one way is to eat uh, contaminated shellfish like oysters, eating raw oysters. Okay, that's one of the top ways of, of contracting Vibrio. The second way is to have a, an open wound and to go into water that has Vibrio uh, in it. And the, the thing that really makes Vibrio dangerous is when it gets into your bloodstream, okay, and it infects your blood. And that once that happens, it has about a 50% mortality rate, so it's very dangerous in that respect. But again, uh, if you have a normal, normally functioning immune system, you really are not considered to be at, at risk. It doesn't mean you absolutely can't get it. It just means you're not really uh, an at-risk, uh, part of the at-risk population. Now, who is at risk? Well, it seems like, based on what I'm reading, and what I'm reading is what's on the Center for Disease Control and other authoritative websites is that people who have a history of alcohol abuse and who may have some uh, liver damage whether they are aware of it or not are 80 times more likely to get a, a dangerous infection from Vibrio. Uh, people who maybe who have uh, AIDS uh, people who are have cancer and are undergoing treatment that suppresses the immune system might be at risk. Uh, any type of a disease that suppresses the immune system, if you're on some sort of a medication, like steroids or something that suppresses your immune system, uh, you're, you're more likely to contract a, a, a serious infection from Vibrio. So what's the takeaway from this? First, if you're part of that risk group, uh, you should not eat raw oysters ever, <laughs> and you should not eat raw shellfish. Now, shellfish that's been treated, whether it's with, you know, been irradiated or something like that, um, you know, that, that may be safe. But just as a general rule, if you're at part of the, if you're uh, in the risk group, you should avoid eating raw shellfish or, or raw fish of any kind, really. Um, the second thing is, is that if you have uh, an injury, you should avoid going in uh, warm salt water. Um, where I am right now, you can see behind me, I'm on the Gulf Beach. And the, generally speaking, the water salinity here is too high for Vibrio to, um, to flourish. Now, that doesn't mean it's not here, um, but you're, you have less exposure here. Uh, you're more likely to find uh, high concentrations of Vibrio in a you know, stagnant backwater someplace where the the fresh water mixes with the with the salt water. So if you're uh, in the salt water and you sustain an injury, and you're in one of the whether you're in a risk group or not, um, you should get out of the water and treat the injury. Okay, wash it really good. Um, you know, put uh, peroxide or alcohol or I suppose uh, 
betadine or something on it, wash it with soap and water good, and, and then not get it wet again in the, in the salt water. Uh, if you have an injury already, you shouldn't be going in warm salt water. I know there's an old saying that, well, salt water is great, it heals wounds, and so you should, you should go swimming in the, in the ocean. Probably not a good idea, whether it's Vibrio or, or something else. So, you know, what I want you to understand from this is that, you know, there's not this sudden um, invasion of killer bacteria. This is something that's always been here. There are a few cases every year. Uh, there was a big outbreak after Hurricane Katrina in Louisiana and Mississippi, actually. Big, by big outbreak, I mean there were like 22 cases. You know, you had people uh, wading around in, you know, water, warm salt water. Um, and so, it's there. It's not a new thing. And don't freak out about it. Just use normal common sense and uh, make sure you know if you're in a risk group or not. And that's about it. I hope that's helpful. Uh, you know, I hope you're not freaking out about this thing because, I mean, I'm not.